Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another week of story time. My name is Miss Chelsea, and I am so excited to share another week of stories with all of you. So if you come to the in-person story time this week, we are going to be talking about growing a garden. So for your activity to do at home, we sent home some little plants that you can grow right at home. And if you know what a chia pet is, it's kind of similar to that. So, the first thing you're going to want to do, because this takes a little while, we're going to jump right in. So if you have your April Grab and Go kits, go and get them and get out the Growing a Garden story time. Everything you need will be in there. And first, we are going to take out, in your cup, you should have two of these little soil pellets. I've already started growing one of mine because, like I said, it takes a little while for them to grow. Maybe like 15 or 20 minutes. And when they're done, they're going to be about this big compared to your cup. So I'm going to set this one in there just in case I need a little extra dirt. Um, you can use one for one cup. And if you have another cup at home, you can make another one. Or if you, like I said, if you need a little bit of extra dirt to fill the top of your cup, you can use both of them. So now that we have our soil soaking and we're going to let that get big, I'm going to take out my seeds. So you have a little bit of a choice here. I sent you home two different kinds of seeds. These are wheatgrass seeds and these are chia seeds. So, if you can see in my little cup here, this tall grass is the wheatgrass. And this little small plant that kind of looks more like leaves, that's the chia. So I put both of them in both of my cups um, but you can just pick one or you can do them separate or put them both together. That's totally up to you. I am going to do another one that has both of them in it just so I can show you how to do both types of seeds. So I did a little experiment to see if it mattered if you soaked them overnight or if you only needed to soak them for as long as these soak. And these were my examples. This one I soaked for just a minute while well, those soaked and this one I soaked overnight and you can't really tell a difference so if you didn't get a chance to soak them overnight don't worry it's gonna it should work just as good so I have two cups here so that I can soak my seeds separately because these ones get really sticky after you soak them and you want to be able to move them around so I'm going to put these seeds in this cup and then for the little black seeds, the chia seeds, you're going to want to take two teaspoons of water, one, so one TSP and you're going to want two scoops of that and then just give it a little stir and just let those soak while we grow our second dirt. And then, in my leftover water here, I'm going to put my wheatgrass seeds and just let them soak. So while those are getting ready, we get to do the best part. Now you get to make your cup into your chia pet or your little pet or just decorate it however you want. So this is how I decorated my first one. I took a little balloon and put it on for some clothes and I tied a ribbon around and I added a little nose, a mouth, and we did send you two eyes. So for my next one, I brought a couple examples here of just random things that I could find around the library to give you some examples of what you could do. And like I said, this is so fun because you can get so creative. You could make an animal or like a little person like I did, or you could just decorate it. So I found a cupcake tin and I thought that would make a cute little outfit. Or I found a lot of cotton balls and I was thinking I could make little ears and turn it into like a bear or I could give it feet 
Or I could give it a little tail and make it a bunny for springtime. And I could always cut these to look like ears. I could glue some feathers all over it like a bird and give my bird some crazy hair. Or I found some pipe cleaner that I thought that I could give it a little headband or tie it to look like a bow. I found this little heart doily that I thought I could cut the trim off and give it pants. There are so many different things that you can do with your cup. So this is how my first one turned out. And I'm so excited to see what all of you decide to do with yours. So if you want to post pictures in the comments, I would love to see how yours turn out and what you decide to turn them into. So I am not going to decorate my cup today because I want to leave that part up to you to decorate however you want to decorate it. But those are some simple ideas and you can use just whatever you find lying around your house. So, even though these haven't soaked quite as long as they need to, I am going to show you what you will do for the rest of yours. So, here's my done one. So I'm gonna take this and you can tell that on one end, there's a little opening. I'm gonna tear that open. You wanna be careful and kinda keep it upright because all of the dirt's gonna fall out when you open this up. Open it up and then you're gonna want to dump it right over your cup and just kind of push all of that dirt out. If you grab the bottom and give it a good shake, most of it will just fall right out on its own. So this is where you can make the decision if you want to get your hands a little dirty and have some fun playing in the soil or if you want to grab a spoon because we're going to have to get in the cup. See all that extra space it left around the sides? You're going to want to kind of push it down and spread it out and just kind of fill up the cup. There we go. And I am actually going to take a little bit and scoop it off to the side here. You see how I'm doing that? And leave it up here because that's what you're going to want to cover your seeds with. And this is where the second soil pellet kind of comes in. Because you can see it didn't fill my cup all the way to the top. And you want it pretty full up there. So you don't have to push any to the side. You can put your seeds in and then when this one finished growing, top it off with what's left in there. But since this one's going to take a while, I'm going to go ahead and just scoop some off to the side and then I'm going to take my seeds and you can kind of see how they're starting to get, oh, there's still so much water in there, but they're starting to get a little bit sticky. So I'm going to take those. That's kind of fun to touch if you don't mind getting your hands dirty. They feel pretty cool. So I'm going to take these and dump those inside. And I'm going to spread those out all along that dirt. Get it all around there so he has hair everywhere. You can see in my first two that I kind of kept them separate. So this side doesn't have any tall grass and this side doesn't have any short grass. This one I'm going to try and make sure that it's all the way around. Just like that. Can you see in my cup there? And then I'm going to take these ones. So these ones you have to kind of drain the water out. You can either reach your hand in and scoop them out or you can, if you have a strainer at home, or just use a spoon to kind of block them from falling out when you dump the water. And then you're just going to sprinkle those around inside too. You get one more good scoop here. There we go. 
Okay, and then it'll look something like this. So now I'm gonna take that dirt that I pushed off to the side, or you can open up your other soil pellet and dump that on top, and I'm just gonna cover all of those seeds. But you don't wanna put them down too far or it'll take them longer to grow up. So you just wanna cover them just a little bit. Maybe I even used a little too much, but you just, almost so you could maybe still see some of them, just don't put too much over the top. And then you're all set to go. We did give you, oh no, my little spray bottle. I must have left somewhere. But in your packet, you should have gotten a little spray bottle and you can fill it with water. And then you can set that next to your plant because you're going to want to remember to water it every day. You can tell that mine, I kind of forgot. And so my little chia seeds look a little sad and they're kind of fallen over. But if I, if I give this a good water, those will perk right up too. And they might be about this tall now. And the really fun part about this is it doesn't take very long for these to grow. So in about a week, you should have about as much hair as I do so that you can trim it up and give your animal or your little person or just your grass a fun little haircut. So I did bring some scissors to give you guys two ideas for cutting your hair. So this one, I'm just gonna give a very basic haircut. I'm just gonna cut it super short compared to what it was. And then, if you keep watering it, it should just keep growing so you can keep trying new haircuts. Or maybe I'll be really silly and just cut out the middle. And this one, I thought that maybe I could get a little bow and tie it up. Let's see. There you go. And you can do whatever you want with your little pet once their hair grows. So you just wanna make sure that you keep the soil kind of damp like it is right now. Um, this soil, you can tell, is very dry because it's crunchy and it feels more like dirt. And this feels a little wet, so you can tell by just touching it a little. So just make sure that you take care of your plant and it's gonna grow hair that you can cut and play with and grow again. So there you have it. And you guys can do anything that you want with your hair. And I'm so excited to see how they turn out. I would love it if you posted pictures for me to see. And as long as you care for your plant and give it good sunlight, put it in a place that's really sunny, and you keep your little spray bottle next to it to remind you to give it some love and some water every day, you should have lots of hair to cut and play with um, for days to come. And I hope to see you all at story time this week. The first one will be tomorrow um, downtown at 10 a.m. And the second one will be Wednesday at the Helen Warner branch at 10 a.m. And again, we will be talking about growing a garden. So I hope to see you there. And thank you so much for joining me this morning. Good luck.